Well, thank you, Randy, for joining us today to tell us a little bit about you and Bank of the Ozarks and your role in the community and as a chamber member. So if you don't mind just starting us off with telling us a little bit about who you are and a little bit about your company and um, what your position is with your organization. Sure, and, and thank you for having me. Uh, I am Randy Whitaker with, with Bank of the Ozarks. I am the Northwest Georgia Division President. Uh, I have been with Bank of the Ozarks since 2011 and uh, in my most current position since 2014. So uh, it, it is a great organization to work for. Uh, we are the number one performing community bank in America for our asset size and that has been a, a seven year run for us which is uh, unprecedented and uh, it speaks well of our management teams that we have uh, in place as well too. Yeah, I, I have been uh, on the chamber board and as a, uh, a ch chairman's club member two years uh, chamber board since 2012, I believe is, is accurate. Uh, I am the immediate past chair uh, of the Douglas County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, what a fantastic and wonderful year it was. Uh, sort of sad to see it go in a lot of ways too. Uh, many wonderful people that, I, that I've been able to meet and to um, uh, talk to on a regular basis. And uh, so it's, it's been a very good year and uh, looking forward to our, our next chairman and the year that, that she's going to have, So, but uh, uh, glad to, to be with you today. Great, um, and I know you also served on our small business committee in the past yes. and other areas, so we really appreciate that. Well, going back to your job, what's the, um, and obviously I can tell that you're very passionate about your, uh, your role with Bank of the Ozarks, but what is the one thing that you love most about your job? Oh, helping other people. Um, you know, there's, it, it is one of those things in life uh, that gives you great reward to be able to see somebody satisfied and happy when you're being able to do something for them. Um, you know, being in banking uh, and, and the whether it's regulation, whether it's risk profiles or whatever that we have to go through, you can't always help somebody because of whatever unfortunate event they may have had in their lives or, or whatever. Uh, most recently, recently the, uh, the 2000 and um, I, I think eight through 13 recession, great recession that we went through and, and that harmed a lot of people and a lot of people are, are really starting to recover and to be able to, to begin to help them again, um, it's, it's just very rewarding. Um, the, the relationships you build, uh, they're not just customers, they're, they're friends too and uh, you want to be able to help them the best way you can so that's that's my most rewarding thing. Great. Well, and as a Bank of the Ozarks customer, that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, shameless plug for you. Yes. Okay, well speaking of things that you love, I know that you have a wonderful family, so if you don't mind telling everyone about your family and what you like to do in your spare time. Sure. Uh, I have been married to my high school sweetheart for 27, going on 28 years this year. Uh, we have been together 34 years, and uh, like I said, she was my high school sweetheart. I have two children. Uh, Lauren is a um, graduate of Bernal University and she is currently married and teaching at Villarica High School as a uh, drama and theater teacher. Uh, my son Aaron uh, will be 20 next month and he is a sophomore at the University of Georgia. So we are quasi uh, empty nesters uh, which has been quite fun and, and, and dating my wife all over again. Um, she is my best friend and um, uh, she was my best friend before I married her, so love her. And um, a, a, as far as what we in, really enjoy doing, um, I am a Georgia, University of Georgia season ticket holder, and as you can imagine, this year has been fantastic up until um, uh, this last game. But what a great year. Um, that is my passion during the fall, and then the rest of the time we love to travel, cruises, uh, is our thing and, and we do that just about every year as well too so anytime that we can you know get on the high seas and uh, in a cruise ship that uh, we're happy so. Very good. All right last question um, let's go back to Chamber World. Um, tell me about what you find most beneficial about being involved with the Chamber. Oh it's, it's the relationships that you build. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, we do this as part of our civic duties as a, a um, employee of the bank or whatever organization that you're employed by. Um, but it, it's an opportunity to build those relationships. We look for potential customers uh, and it gives me access to, to people that I may not otherwise have access to without having to try to go make an appointment and sit down in front of somebody. You've got them right there, they're a captive audience. and. We're all doing things that we enjoy and do, and that's giving it back to the community. So it gives me access to 
to, to others that I may not necessarily have uh, easy access to. Um, but it's a, uh, it's a fantastic organization. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be a part of it. Uh, we're encouraged to, to be civic in our duties, um, and this is a great place to start and has been since I've been a part of it. Well, thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. And um, we look forward to seeing you throughout the year, even if it's not at every single networking event like it has been. And appreciate you as a Chairman's Club member and a board member. And just encourage everyone to check back for more updates from our diplomats, our board members, and our Chairman's Club members. Um,